So just a quick video on how to make adjustments to the infotainment system, which I accidentally came across. So you no longer have your OnStar. When you go to use this, I have it on a hotspot right now, so it works. You will get an error that says you need an internet. Very annoying. If you want to remove this, just hold your finger on it and drag it and drop it on the screen in the middle, it disappears. Now if you want to add something else that's available for it, um, that's the one you don't want to add back. You can put your audio over there if you want. Uh, you could put your camera on there, your controls, go straight to off-road, drag and drop that. Um, that should work. As you can see I can put my camera there. Let's see if controls will work. Yep, you can drag and drop it. Controls that up there. You can make adjustments with the gray ones here. Uh, again, you can put the camera there. Um, let's see. Android Auto. Let's see if I can put that. Oh yeah, put that over there. So now when I go back, it'll take me straight to Android Auto, which is the map. I hope that helps. Anyone having trouble or want to make adjustments to this screen? Also in the settings, when you go into the vehicle settings, um, I'm trying to find which page that's on, but when you go into the vehicle settings right here, and if you notice when you had your OnStar, there was a speed limit uh, sign on there. You can go in under, I believe, let's see here, under display, instrument cluster, and you can turn the speed sign on or off. Uh, I believe it only works with OnStar, so... Uh, if you want to turn it off, you go here. All right, just a quick little two-minute video on how to play around with the infotainment system and make some customized adjustments, which I really like. And while I was showing you guys, I just fixed one of the issues that was annoying me. I literally put my Android Auto right over here. All right, have a great day, guys. Good luck with your Colorados or your GMCs. Take care.